The world loves tuna, but the truth is we're running out. We simply cannot rely on wild stocks to meet our ever-growing demand for seafood. The solution to this problem is the farming of fish, aquaculture. Aquaculture of a range of different species such as salmon, oysters, barramundi, is the fastest growing form of primary production today and already meets 50% of our global seafood supply. However, tuna is a totally different kettle of fish. To breed and raise tuna in captivity is the number one research issue around the world and Australia is at the cutting edge. Through the vision of our founder Hagen Steer, we are committed to turning the dream of captive bred tuna aquaculture into a reality and do it sustainably. This has been my dream since 1980. So why is it so hard? These breeding fish are huge, up to 150 kilos in size, and they're really valuable, but they're actually very delicate. For example, they start to suffocate as soon as they stop swimming. And also, creating an environment over the whole year so that the fish can become sexually mature at the breeding season. Cues to actually get them to spawn in the breeding tanks. Understanding all the issues around larval development. Developing complex larval rearing systems, including hydrodynamics, feeding, weaning, health management, and not least, how to grow them profitably. To achieve that, we've joined forces with the Seafood CRC. The Seafood CRC creates industry-driven research partnerships across the whole of the Australian seafood supply chain. The CRC have provided critical access to Australia's leading scientists in the field, and that has accelerated our progress exponentially. In the past three years, we've spawned eggs every single year. This year, we've extended the spawning season to three months and in the process produced millions of eggs. We've mastered the art of handling these massive fish and millions of tiny one millimeter eggs in the same facility. It's so exciting for me to be part of something to nurture our little babies from this size up to this size and get so much closer to turning our dream into a commercial reality. It is not if we're going to do it, but only when we're going to do it. And it's a foregone conclusion. It is just a matter of time. 10,000 tonnes of aquaculture bred tuna generating hundreds and hundreds of jobs. With a generation of $50 million of export income, this is tremendous news for Air Peninsula, for South Australia and for the whole region. I could never ever have done it without our scientists and the Seafood CSA.